people ask me all the time to cover this astrology thing. If you're going to do accurate charts, you're going to do them based on your date of conception. You're born February 1st, you're conceived May 1st. It's just that simple. And you'll get more accurate results by doing your charts and trying to figure shit out. Also, spilling your blood on whatever charts is a powerful thing also because, you know, the power is in the blood. You have to give up something of you to get something back from this universe. Like, I write out on paper, I intend to bring forth heaven and earth, spill my blood on it, publish the video to the internet, which is the ethernet. That's like an element. Then you have, I spill my blood into the earth at midnight and at high noon calling out to the sun or the black sun beneath your feet which creates the aurora borealis where it's this conscious and the subconscious and it's like your father places you into the space of your mother and your mother births you into time you were birthed into this world to your mother you're going to be birthed out of this world to your mother through the center of the flat earth plane every compass points to it the sun goes round and round and round over the flat earth plane it's 32 nautical miles in diameter at high noon it's 3100 miles away from you approximately it's moving in a degree, a degree, every day a degree. You could see your shadow on your porch going from one side to the other where you might lose the sunlight in your plants. You might have to move to a different portion of the house because the sun is no longer, you know. People can't see it, but the black sun is fixed. It's at the center of the flat earth plane. This is where the aurora borealis comes shooting out, hits the dome, showers down you like the matrix code. Those stars up there are living beings. And you don't wish upon a star. What you do is you pick out your... Whatever it is, star that you want to contact, you spill your blood into the earth and you call out to that force saying that you intend to bring forth heaven and earth. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition in your name. You know, I'll remind you often to get all my power from the sun, the black sun. And I remind you often, I'm just following a book handed down by the grand architect. I've given up my free will at this point. I've put so much blood, sweat, and tears into this bringing forth heaven and earth that this angel of death literally attached to me showing me how to take over the world legally nobody can stop me if anybody steps in my direction the wrong way they'll be snuffed out by like a lightning bolt or a freak accident it's crazy and you know like this stuff with the las vegas stuff showing you this mass shooting this is all fake show me the bodies there's no bodies go to the social security website you'll see you have to get a death certificate. You have a birth certificate. You're birthed into this world onto the docks. You come out of your mother's water. They fudge the paper, putting you down as a stillborn. Now, for them to take your inheritance completely, they need to show you that you're dead. You know, birthed in, they suck all the taxes, whatever blood, sweat, and tears, equity they can out of you. And then they take whatever you don't have written out wills in. Listen. We're getting to the Holy Grail in a couple of years. I'm going to lead the way. I'm going to pay for everything. Nobody will stop me. I'm standing here literally as Satan on gallons of blood. I see what nobody sees. This shit turns out to be real. I'm not possessed. I became this powerful being Satan. I can see. You know, you, you could say, hey, he's only a, a man. That's right. I'm just in the flesh, but nobody can stop me. How is that possible? That's because the angel of death has attached to me. So the power is in the blood. Get your mind off these astral charts and shit and focus on the prize, which is getting to the center of the dish before you're dead. If you want to speak to your creator, you look at the sun directly. You know, I intend to bring forth heaven and earth and release everybody from bondage. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition in your name. And you'll see that somehow the sun reprograms you and gives you everything you need to carry your intent to fruition. Nobody can stop me. I've literally already taken control of this world with my blood. If you think anybody can stop this blood over intent, holy girl exodus, you're mistaken. Nobody can see anything. It's pitiful. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and release us all from bondage. It's not what you believe. It's what did you intend to do about it. I'll remind you often, you need 144,000 filled up in that book of life before you attempt to go off to the Holy Grail. And when we do go off to the Holy Grail, it's we tread together, we live forever. And uh, we're the sealed elect in the book of life.
You don't have to be in a rush. If it takes us one year, two years, it is what it is. 144,000, that's the number. I don't take money, worship, or advice. I told you to lay low, stay out of trouble. I'm gonna take care of everything. Whatever you do, don't be taking people's money in the name of blood over intent. You will expire. I'm the plumber. You look like that guy. You know, the most evil guy in the galaxy. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, wanna watch me snake a drain? Uh... <laughs> sealed elect because it's sealed in blood. You know, mm -hmm. I'm death. The seal of death, you can't have a seal. The seals, like they show you, they put seals on envelopes, this red whack, like it's the blood in the seal. I mean, it's the blood. Yeah, it used to be blood too, I think. Blood over intent is an ancient prospectant ritual. Before you, anything of value, anything to do with people's lives or anything to do with people who flip somebody out, you can put your blood up or you're going to shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. It's ancient holy grail shit. It's holy blood, holy grail. Yeah, holy hole. You think heaven's up, I'm telling you, we're going into a hole. It's a hole, like heaven's beneath your feet. Holy Grail layer below, you know, it's in the hill of Don Key, we're going, you know, in the hole. It's like, that's why they put it on the ass of the donkey. I mean, this is, you know, it would be pin the nose on the donkey rather than pin the fucking tail on the donkey. Pin the ear on the donkey. Pin a fucking saddle. Why does it have to be his fucking ass? You know what I mean? With a pin, you're in the hole. And I'm just saying that. Bobbing for apples, like you got to put your face in the water to get the apple because you're going... Like, baptized, you're going through the hole. You're going to go in the fucking... All right, Achilles had his heel because his mom didn't dunk him all the way in the water. Mm -hmm. Pulled his ass out, and he had an Achilles heel. That's because nothing possessed her to go in all the way. There was nothing selfless about this when it was being done. That's why he had Achilles heel. I'm completely selfless. You don't even look at me anything like nasty or, or bad or anything. I don't care what I say, devil this, do that. What? Heaven on earth, you know, benefit of all, I mean, what, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, I'm making an atonement with myself by the law, by the God's, your creator's law. Don't you throw around God, Jesus, any fucking creator, Bible, God, whatever. I mean, this is bullshit. If those gods are power, I mean, they would just be in a completely different mindset. Because you know when somebody's been touched by this shit? Because they're standing here like this, doing mythical shit. Against all, you know better judgment or whatever it is, you think, how could he do this and get away with it? How does he have a son and go, and how does he even have a hold a normal life? You know what I'm saying? But it's all in your head. It's it's in your head. Yeah. You know, something empowers me to do this shit. I tell you, I look at the sun and I speak my intent. It's the collective consciousness of the whole. When you think of the God of a thousand names, myth or whatever, look, you have your ring finger and your fuck you finger. Okay, this is like your limb finger showing you, like, Jesus the sun has to stick his light into the hole for the ash trailing light to come out of the, the black hole, you know? Fuck you, wake up. You need to get to there to wake up, to get out of this reality. And uh, it's woven into literally everything, you know? I mean, literally everything. It's just, everything's a distraction. Everything, another distraction, another this, another problem, whatever. Just lay low. Stay out of trouble. Put the frog slowly. Let other people go up there and think I'm crazy and stuff. That's the process. We. This is what I want. We need the example set to see that people get to a point. It doesn't exist. It's not there. It's because it's called Invisible Mountain for a reason. We need to drink the elixir first. People aren't, you know, to even go down that path of that crazy quasi-luminous vampire type shit. That's 
funny. You think vampires bite into people's necks? You know, it, it's there's no healing stem cells in the necks. I mean, you have to be like, you know, in some sort of mythical type of relationship with someone, and you guys got to be on a level where like you're not going to be flipped out. You know, if your girlfriend said something, you might dump her. If you said something, she might dump you, or you know, you spook each other out or something. This type of shit to even come together. We're gonna be bathing in the eternal waters of Kaldi Maya, the bloody red waters. This is not an accident. This is like it's woven into reality. It tells you all the shit right there. Yeah. It's it's like we're invited. It's different than like you know people who have like a twisted view on like gang banging the holy hole. They just don't see it. It's like she's inviting us. Well, like an exodus type thing, like, we, we go, look, and I know people say, well, do I need passports? Shit, you're missing this underlying feature. You gotta wake up some people. Do you care about anybody? Do you only care about yourself? I mean, how many people you think, I've woken up in the name of Blood Over Intent? Not, I don't have no PayPal. You can't find a way. You need it, motherfucker. Ah, you, you better PayPal, cat. I mean, you see all these guys, uh, Everybody's trying to something for nothing. You watch my video. I want some money. I gave you some knowledge. Give me some money. I don't want nothing for you. Mm -hmm. You couldn't do anything with knowledge anyways. Look at you. You know what I mean? Why would I charge you money for? It's like people say, learn how to do this. Learn how to buy my kit. Buy my kit. It's just the funniest shit. To buy their kit. Real estate. This. Whatever it is. I mean, it's just. It's a waste. The fact that you sell it. To begin with, shows that there, there's nothing in there of real value. And even if there was, because, like, if, oh, yeah. because they're telling you you're going to get rich and all kinds of shit that you would have became rich and you would want to share it with the world, not charging it. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's a, look, I know where eternal life is, and I don't to even go down the idea of money. This is ridiculous. What the fuck does God need your money for? You go to church, they, they collect your money. This is the craziest thing. It's supposed to be God. Why would you? Oh my God! This whole idea that the church doesn't just hand out money rather than collect money. And you say, well, they need to perpetuate this idea, this religion. And I'm telling you, after a thousand years, I'm all reading the same book over and over and over. Nobody's gotten any smarter. You're all just as dumb and enslaved as you were before. Clear. Pedophile priests and everything, don't tell me they need your money. Mm -hmm. They have no interest in you getting any. You're reborn. They want you to get reborn so that you become stupid again. Quasi Luminous has gone insane. He's maybe demon influenced. That guy thinks he's Satan. Ah, oh, To the gargoyle. <laughs> Sun's going right down into this old cup. I'll remind you often, there's no way to fuck up the shape of reality. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole, on loop, and through the transaction is the feedback loop, the infinite potential, the Earth's memory, the living dynamo power, the aurora borealis, this Fibonacci sequence that shows up all over you. No way to fuck this up. Every compass is pointing to the center of this flat earth plane. There's a fucking black hole there. You take this communion. You take you know, the body and blood of Christ. You set up your fucking Christmas tree. Everything points to this basic concept. The Holy Grail is at the center of the flat earth plane. And who are you going to tell? They'll all think you're crazy. There's zero intelligent life in the universe. I'm just telling you. How people don't see this is beyond me. It's literally... Woven into everything. Every little aspect of your reality is keeps showing you the same shit over and over and over. Literally. For you not to see it. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. I am. I see too much, motherfucker. You're blind, deaf, dumb. Who are you gonna fucking tell? You got no backbone. You're a fucking retard. I'm not a little pussy like you. There's no way to fuck this shit up. This image, which has been colorized, came out of an ancient book. Showing you clearly some basic shit. 
that you're in a computer simulation, that you're in the land of the dead. And there's a way out. Every compass points to it. It's right over there. Nobody escapes me. Not even your filthy gods. It is what it is. Go ahead and laugh, motherfucker. You're blind, deaf, dumb, legally dead. If I don't spell everything out for you so fucking detailed like. There's no fucking way you're going to see this. The computer's called Saturn, and it's conscious. There's a way to get out. Every compass is pointing to this holy hole where Jesus the Son needs to bang the fuck out of Mother Earth, where there's no infinite potential feedback loop coming out of this hole, hitting the dome, and trickling down on you. This is so simple. There's literally no way to fuck it up. It's been rubbed in your face on literally everything. Jesus can't save you. Jesus is the sun above your head and you need to get to where every compass is pointing to. This is where you'll become an exclamation character. You'll become immortal. That guy thinks he's Satan. That guy thinks he's Satan. Hi, I'm Benito Linda Bush. Your mother sucks to in hell. Sucks to in hell. Thank you, Reagan, for that very enlightening and informative presentation. You earned your fate. Now lap it up. This is where we store all the vapors and entities and slimers that we trap. Very simple, really. A loaded trap here. Open and unlock the system. Insert the trap. Release. Set your entry grid. Neutronize your field. And light is green, crap is clean. Ghost is incarcerated here in our custom-made storage facility. Kidding me? Angels and me. I even I got one on called the Duke. He's got a picture of John Wayne on it. <laughs> Thank you for my opportunity. <laughs> my father says, at least the devil turned out to be American. <laughs> one law that your creator spelled out for you so clear is the atonement for your sins it needs to be done literally daily you fucking sin non-stop you're a walking sin every breath out of your mouth it's sort of like you know i'm protesting shit outwardly to the world for the benefit of all i wake everybody up around me i'm i'm not holding back at all i mean i'll literally do the craziest shit that goes beyond people's comprehension like how do you get away with this shit how, how is this possible that you could say the type of shit you do it's because I've already atoned for my sins I do it like literally when I wake up before I I step in the shower I've already atoned for my filthy sins you know it's just blood sacrifices like it's woven into me it's like this blood just oozes from me literally and um, you know I can see it your creator has a basic law you need to atone for your sins and whether you see your sins or not and if you think you didn't sin today well then put up blood for somebody else's sin today yeah if you think you were so sinless today then make a sacrifice for someone else's soul you know this is funny for the life of the flesh is in the blood to make an atonement for your filthy soul animal sacrifices are insufficient if you think your creator's going to sacrifice his only begotten son for your filthiness it's kind of funny what 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 kind of precedent does that set for all of you to go out now and kill your own children because your creator did it and that's your creator's law yeah he's gonna sacrifice his only begotten son never mind the mother that birthed that son and her you know did she agree to this you know god the father jesus the son where the fuck is the mother in all this where's the nurturing the caring listen all i see is Painfully sick motherfuckers out there. You're legally dead. Legally dead. 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 These guys won't help you. They're all complacent sheeple. They're all complacent sheeple. Legally dead. Sheeple. Dead. Sheeple. Here. Happy birthday, life. Oh, I can finally actually listen to one of your mixes. Thanks, baby. Mm. Evil, 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 evil,
So it starts with your intent. That would be like the trigger, and your will would be like the bullet. And uh, the sun above your head is making your flesh, your bones, and your blood, and the sun beneath you is bringing all your intent and your will into fruition. And it's just that simple. So it's one side of a light hole is a black hole with a green natural jet shooting out. And it doesn't matter what religion you think you are. We're, I don't care if you're from India, China. It's all the same story with the candy cane and the sun. There's no way to fuck it up. How people don't see this, I don't understand. So when people push this Jesus stuff and they call me Satan and stuff like that, that's funny. You're as, as satanic as they come. You're as fucking Luciferian as they come. You just can't see it. You put on your black satanic robe and your motorboard hat. Every word you speak is a magic spell. You pay for water on a water world. You pay for rent and everything in a place that you were born in. And this is your land. Everything's supposed to be free. And they took your soul from you at birth. Now you are owned by the devil. And you can't see it. See how Moses drips his light into the center of the dish? It's the same story over and over and over. It's in every game. It's, in, it's literally over and over and over. It doesn't matter what religion, what video game, what movie. It's always the same story over and over and over. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. This is the tree of life, the infinite potential, the pillar of creation. And every compass is pointing to it. If I don't make videos pointing this out, nobody will. And you will surely fucking die. It's just that simple. Because everybody you know is lazy, they can't see it, and until they can see it, they're not going to make videos. So I see it on everything, it's literally everything. I don't see how people don't see it, but it's literally on everything. It's one side of a light hole, is a black hole. And Jesus is the sun, he places his light into the hole. And Everything you know is the reverse of truth. I recommend that you get to my channel for truth immediately. <laughs> you are not familiar with this stuff. I always tell you to start out by going to your brain chart and looking at it, you'll see it. It says you have a reptilian core to your brain, which is responsible for fight or flight. With the slit in his eye, and this is right off the advertising, right on the street. See them with the slit eyes, inescapable people. Your eyes don't look like that, but. You still are a reptilian hybrid slave. You just can't detect it. Look at your brain chart. It says reptilian at your very core. Tony Blair, as you see here, he's got the reptilian snake eyes. Those of you who are not familiar with this stuff, I recommend you go look at your brain chart. side of our brain right there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain right there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain right there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain right shut up pete you're too messed up to know what you're saying too late for that pete 
I need you to get onto the snowmobile right now. Who the fuck are you? You sound like one of those James Bonds. This is something to do with a fucking eel, isn't it? You're not. <laughs> I need to go to Massachusetts. There's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain. Right? A, 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 a... This is Jesus, the Son placing its light, the candy cane, the menstrual blood, into the Holy Grail at the center of the dish, where every compass points to. And out from that hole comes the Aurora Borealis. This is the source light. So your candy canes are showing you Jesus placing the menstrual blood into the Holy of Holies. That's where the Holy Grail is, at the very center of the flat earth plane. This is where you are going to drink from the living waters and become an eternal super being. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. This is where the deed is happening. This is the Holy Grail. Where there's a hole, ground zero. Where the light must pass through or there's no aurora borealis coming out of the black hole sun. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. You see Jesus here with the 666. And you see the eggs on each side of his head with the spirals. You see the candy cane. And you see the Christmas tree where you spiral the lights around. It's clear. Jesus is the sun. He goes round and round and round spiraling in spiraling out bringing the seasons and jesus must place his menstrual blood into the holy grail at the very center of the flat earth plane or there's no aurora borealis coming out this is where the deed is happening the screwing is going on at the very center of the flat earth plane where every compass points to the screwing that place where the vortex is you're going to drink from the living waters and you're going to become a super being it's just that simple every compass is pointing to it you don't have to like it that's where Jesus is banging mother earth